As populations and economies grow, demand for clean water, energy and nutrition grow also, providing investors with significant new market opportunity. Seafood accounts for the largest single source of protein intake worldwide. With ocean harvesting at or near its limits, the world is turning to sustainable aquaculture to bridge the increasing gap caused by insatiable demand. A family-owned Australian company, Pacific Reef Fisheries, operates this 98-pond grow-out facility, where close to a thousand tonnes of premium tiger prawns are produced each year. About a hundred tonnes of the magnificent tablefish cobia are also grown and caught for direct air freight shipment to many of Australia's leading big city restaurants. We've been very proactive in managing our system from start to finish. So we have water treatment facilities from when we pump the water in. We want the best possible quality water to grow our animals. Our production methods are world leading best practice. We're using the best feeds we can possibly use and it's critical to us to make sure that this business operates sustainably. With total annual production of about 5,000 tonnes per annum, small by world standards, Australia's aquaculture industry is nevertheless setting a new benchmark in terms of significantly reduced water contamination. It's all thanks to groundbreaking industrial waste bioremediation research and development being undertaken in North Queensland at Pacific Reef Fisheries by MBD and James Cook University. Water is becoming a big, big issue, whether it's drinking water for people, whether it's water, clean water for crops, whether it's mining, making sure that they have zero impact on the environment they're in. Here we're at an aquaculture facility where their requirement is to have zero net discharge back to the uh, ocean. Drawing seawater from the Great Barrier Reef requires removal of organic and inorganic nitrogen from contaminated pond water before returning it to the ocean. The challenge of meeting that fundamental standard set by the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority has meant no new growth or investment in the northern Queensland aquaculture industry for the past 15 years. MBD's technology, which uses fast-growing macroalgae to soak up the nutrient contamination, is set to unlock that golden door to major new investment in aquaculture. It's exciting to know that we've, we've developed this system and it works. We know we can operate sustainably into the future. We know we can continue to grow a, a very important industry for Queensland and Australia, knowing that we can do this without any impact whatsoever. Andrew Lawson and his team at MBD have shown that a combination of sand filters, which remove organic nitrogen, and high-rate algal ponds, which remove inorganic nitrogen, can make prawn farm water cleaner than when it was pumped in from the Great Barrier Reef. The water comes in from the ocean, that water is then washed through the system and, and it finds its way through to our sand filters. The sand filters are important to convert the nitrogen into a form that the algae can take it up. The water is then pumped into the growth ponds and taken up by the algae. Really in one rotation, the algae takes up that nitrogen as food. In addition to its existing 98-pond facility at Alva Beach near Eyre, Pacific Reef Fisheries is now proposing to build Australia's largest aquaculture facility, but most importantly, for it to have zero impact on the Great Barrier Reef once operational. Guthlunga is a new farm for Pacific Reef. That farm will be easily the world's best practice in terms of environmental management anywhere in the world. Occupying about six square kilometres of what is presently an already cleared seaside cattle farm at Guthalungra near Bowen, the prawn farm will ultimately comprise 259 hectares of new ponds and infrastructure. An important point with aquaculture is the concentrations in the discharge are very, very low. So there's very little impact, but this farm will have zero impact. At full production, the farm will produce about 2,500 tonnes of tiger prawns per annum that would have a retail sales value of about $60 million each year. In addition, about 130 full-time equivalent new jobs will be created, providing welcome ongoing stimulus to the local and regional economies. 
Extraordinary that this sustainable new economic growth and even greater future potential should be unlocked by a team of engineers and scientists working with one of the world's oldest life forms, simply enabling it to do for industry what it's always done for our environment. So how much has it grown this week? Um, this week it's six days old now, we stock at 350 kilos and just looking at it now I reckon we've got roughly 11, 1200 kilos in there, so it's yeah, amazing. Yeah, it's going, going really great at the moment. The thing I love about this is if it's growing that fast, it's, it's amazing that it grows that fast, but if it's growing that fast, it's soaking up so much nutrient to grow that fast. Yeah, exactly, that's the only way we get growth. Itself a highly valued source of human and animal nutrition, ulva, a form of macroalgae, absolutely thrive in the prawn farm water and sunlight. And thanks to MBD's high rate algal ponds, Instead of becoming an environmental hazard, the nutrient-rich wastewater is bioremediated into clean water and abundant biomass that can be used for food, feed, fertiliser or synthetic crude oil suited to refining transport fuels. There's quite a range of uses. What our challenge is to, to make sure we get the best value and that's probably as a food or nutrition product. The second values are probably looking more at your fish meals and so forth. But one of the really nice things about that is that the world uh, can't grow any more fish for fish meal. We're sort of taking the fish out of the equation and um, really going back to the algae, which is what the fish eat to get the omega-3s and other things. For Pacific Reef Fisheries and the Australian aquaculture industry, the fully independently tested and verified MBD HRAPS cleanup system is a godsend. The world needs food. The world needs seafood. Aquaculture operating in this manner, using this, these sustainable treatment methods, gives us the opportunity to grow food for the world, knowing that we can do it with zero impact on the environment, and, and it can become an extremely important industry for Queensland. With best practice leading algae-based water bioremediation projects underway in China, Australia and other regions of the world, the MBD the is contributing to the future security of water, energy and nutrition supplies in a world that is hungry for all of these. And I think industry today sees that you know, it's very important to, to make money as an industry, but it's equally important. You can't do that at the expense of the environment. So taking the balance and making sure that you have zero net impact has is, is got to be the way of the future.